What's up, you lovely human beings? Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Let me know in the comments below. Let's get into the news of today. For uh, this week, we're also kind of venturing in new territories or news. So your support is always extremely, extremely welcome on this page. So and also suggest other things you want me to react to or talk about. We do this together. Don't forget that. So anyway, it seems like that uh, Meghan Markle, which is the wife of a UK prince, if I remember correctly, I'm getting familiar with, uh, with these people. I don't know much about them. Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex. And also she's a duchess, duchess now, because you marry, that's what happens. Then all of a sudden it's blue blood. Who knows why? Then all of a sudden 200 years pass and it's uh, heritage. It's in your blood. All of a sudden your blood changes. Apparently you are more important than other human beings. Go figure. Huh? I don't know. We're still at that. Uh, in 2022. Anyway, we got here Meghan Markle on the struggle of not being able to afford their 40 million mansion. So if I remember correctly, she's now doing a podcast and the first episode of this podcast was pretty successful, even uh, better than Joe Rogan. I think a lot of people which they like this person, most likely people which they don't have, they are not too sympathetic with this person. They tuned in to check out what, the, what she had to say. Of course, yes, the advantage point of being now a royal, so to speak, or ex-royal, uh, and therefore probably they have connection with the big stars and whatnot to, uh, to make those podcast archetypes. So, yes, in 2022, you also have that. You have, we have to endure people like her being able to have a big platform podcast and we have to hear what they have to say. Well, you don't have to as long as you don't click on the link of where they do the podcast. That's also true. But anyway, so in a new interview, Markle has shared more about the adjustments she and husband Prince Harry went through after leaving the roles as senior working royals. In particular, the Duchess of Sussex has spoken out about the challenges they faced when looking for a new home together outside the UK, saying that when they initially fell in love with the Montecino mansion they live in now, they weren't sure they could afford it. That's a long pause. Do I really have to react on this? No freaking wonder this is already getting backlashes. Okay, let's recap. It's my understanding people don't like very much this woman because basically she married the prince, she got into this family, and she thought that she could basically bring the walk, the American wokeness uh, of feminist woke or Me Too, whatever, I don't know what, to the royal house in the UK. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just reading through the stuff that it's out there. So it seems like that she had issues with the royal family and she thought that from the outside, this uh, more or less average actress, she could just step in and because she's uh, multiracial, racial, I suppose, that she could play certain cards um, and be supported by an old movement, let's say back in the US, that would support her in her, let's say, allegations or statement that she brought into the uh, royal house. And she really thought probably, we're gonna change all of this all right, because I stepped in and because I stepped in and I have powers, we're going to change here and there and there. Uh, it seems little did she know that that doesn't really work that way. And therefore, she started to play the cards. Uh, it seems I'm not saying this. This is what I hear around. She was playing the cards of, uh, let's say, racial cards that um, that um, UK royal family is... Uh, little racist they were inquiring on the color of the skin of their babies anyway you know how it happens and a lot of british people didn't take that too kindly because obviously they felt that somebody just randomly from the outside 
wanted to change an entire culture. All right, I'm going to be clear with you, frankly, that's also kind of my name. I don't care very much for royals, you know. If you ask me, it's a very strange, archaic way of maintaining power from the feudalistic times, you know. We're still doing that. We still claim that some people have the right to be more powerful than others because they were there before you and me for a very long time and they managed to pass down that power and privileges for very, very long with a lot of ching jing. Anyway, I cannot say like I'm a huge fan, but I do can understand in the landscape of nowadays why actually a royal system can still be beneficial for a country uh, like the UK or the Netherlands where I live, for instance, which has also a royal family. Sometimes I have to admit with you, if I compare some of those countries which they seem to have better stabilities, let's say, uh, than a country like Italy, where there are like 73 trillion political parties and all kinds of literally idiots, you know, running this country. And literally they're, they're driving this amazing country, powerful, wealthy, beautiful, into the ground because they're a bunch of assholes. I said that. So sometimes I feel that actually having like a pillar that could manage to put a little bit more balance in between all those voices which they are corrupt they are corrupted could have been beneficial anyway that's for another talk let's go back to the 14 million and a half plus house why backlash so they renounce the title they don't have ching ching money and then they're going around in the US or Canada, wherever they were supposed to be. And they felt, probably she felt that a house of 40 million would be the least because it's beautiful and it's 40 million. Therefore, I must have it. But it's hard to go shopping. I read somewhere here, she said, like, it's like when you were a kid that you looked at window shopping, but you didn't dare to go in because you knew you couldn't afford it. Lady Markle, there is a difference when you can't afford $100 pair of sneakers, eh? and maybe you have to work a few weekends when you are 15 to manage to put aside that 100 euro bill. And another thing is to be entitled to a 40 million and a half plus house. All right. There is plenty of couple of million houses which could have been completely suitable for any other human being already living in extreme wealth. So people, they are not taking this too kindly, especially in the comment section already here, where they're just basically roasting, roasting her because they're like, seriously, cry me a river, Marco, baby. Eh? I cannot get to the end of the month. And she's crying on the podcast. I was so sad. I was so sad I could not afford my almost $50 million mansion. What kind of life my husband is providing me? Eh? I signed up for something more and now maybe I'm forced to go in a $10 million houses because we need the other five that we saved to leave for another 15 years. How dare him? Eh? By the way, this is a fictional character. I'm not saying actually those are the words of that person. We are saying this for entertainment reasons. So anyway, honestly, I'm not surprised one cent that people are not very sympathetic towards this person because it seems like that there is a fair amount of, I would say, narcissism and uh, entitlement. Again, I'm not diagnosing anybody. I'm just reading through the comments here and, and opinions of other people. I've actually also read that a, uh, a YouTuber which was specialized in actually talking about narcissism um, was shut down. I think it was called HG Tudor or something like that. I actually saw some of his videos. I thought they actually were quite educative um, in, in terms of learning uh, about narcissism and narcissist traits and narcissist, you know, dynamics. So it's actually a pity if that's the case that they shut the channel down because it's actually important to learn. 
Again, personally, I'm not diagnosing anybody. I'm just reading through the news. And uh, if I have to share my opinion in regards to close this video, I'm not one bit surprised that people are really rolling their eyes to the comment of this woman, you know, that she wants to come across like uh, sympathetic. She wants sort of to garner that kind of attention from people. But by stating stuff like this, I don't think it's going to work very well, considering the history. And again, call me out on everything that was said, because I'm learning about this couple um, as we go. And I find it actually kind of amusing that uh, there are people which they really believe that the position they are in is actually granted to them. It's by default. So, wow, it's really, really amusing. Anyway, guys, let's, you know, let's share your opinion in the comments below. Please consider subscribing, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I would really, really appreciate that. The more, the better. I talk to you later. Always spread love. Ciao.